Today is actually Saturday and I've got a whole pile of wood in here. Every several Saturdays I spend like the Saturday preparing wood signs for my wife's Etsy. So that's what's going on today. But I thought I'd take a quick minute to address a question I've actually gotten quite a few times on this channel recently. What on earth are those? I've used these pliers in several videos whether I'm working on a bicycle or even when I was adjusting my microphone stand. And these things are called Nipex. K-N-I-P-E-X. I might be saying that wrong but quite frankly I don't care. I feel really awkward sitting like this. Oh, that's a little better. So we're gonna take a quick look at these and I'll show you why I like them. Essentially, they're a plier that in my opinion replaces a crescent wrench. Monkey wrench. Monkey wrench. Images. Hmm. Monkey wrench comes up as several different variations between a pipe wrench, a crescent wrench, and those old-fashioned type of wrenches. Uh, but in my opinion, it replaces an adjustable wrench. Crescent happens to be a brand, like this one, that's why a lot of people call these crescent wrenches. Now these pliers are not anything like the water pump pliers that jaws open like this. What makes these pliers so special is their jaws stay parallel. And it doesn't matter what size range you're at, they always stay parallel. Wow! They come in various sizes. They've got this small size here, they've got this medium size here, and they've got this larger size here. There might be more, I don't know. But the thing I really like about these, there's a couple things. Let's kind of break this down. First of all, for their size, their adjustability or their jaw opening capacity is much greater than a crescent wrench or an adjustable wrench. We're going to take a 10 inch adjustable wrench, which is significantly bigger, a lot heavier, and we open it up as much as we can. I've also done a modification on this so you can open it up even more But you can see this thing opens almost as big as this and again if I were to go back to where my modification started This one is a factory wrench would go this big as compared to this big pretty much the exact same And yet when we make this as small and compact as possible, you can see that's quite a significant difference This is very noticeable in your pocket this is also noticeable in your pocket, but it's not as bad. Now, I like these wrenches for all sorts of things. I keep them in my main toolbox. I keep them in a little toolbox. It's like just for house repairs. I keep them in my bicycle mechanics tools box because you think about it, you're working on a bicycle. This is pretty much the only size adjustable wrench you would ever need. And it's metric and imperial. Can't say the same for these. There's a key feature about these that I absolutely love. These things actually self lock when you're tightening on something. What does that mean? So let's say that this represents something that we need to grab onto and twist. If we grab onto this and if we start twisting, the natural tendency is for these to open up, right? We're grabbing here and these things are actually trying to force themselves open as we're twisting. These things are designed so that they self lock. So if we put this onto here and start pushing, look at this. Well, let me go like this. You can see it better. So. Normally with regular pliers, this is going to want to tend to open. If we go like this, I can actually push up. I'm really pushing there and this thing locks. It's amazing. Another really cool feature about these is that they kind of have like a self ratcheting mechanism. So say if we're on a fastener like this, and we need to tighten it down quite a few rotations. If we have this adjusted properly, uh, we can actually just, you know, tighten it down like this ease up on it and it actually has just enough clearance to go to the next set of flats and grab it. Let me give you a real life example of that. See that? Pretty cool, right? I've been using these Nipex pliers for seven or eight years now and they are one of my all-time favorite tools. They work well, they're fairly adjustable, they're easy to adjust, they just got this little pin. It's kind of like a little pawl that kind of clears these teeth. Slide it where you need it, adjust it, boom, boom, you're good to go. And you check out one of these larger ones, that's a pretty big fastener. And they all have that same self-locking principle and the ability to have that, well, it's not a ratchet idea, but really quick tightening of fasteners because of the fact that it opens up just to the right clearance. And then as soon as you get a bit of a bite on there again, it locks, it self-locks. These things are really good for not stripping off the heads of bolts, keeps everything clean. Even I've used mine when working on bikes once and I had a, a fastener that was kind of deep in there and I couldn't get this head on it, put this in. This didn't give me enough leverage and I actually just grab right onto the shank here and I can get a hard enough clean enough bite that it doesn't slip off and I can put so much torque on here uh, just absolutely amazing tools 
if you're interested in these things and you're kind of like, ah, I don't know for sure, I would strongly suggest just buy this small one. This is the one I used way more than these other two. In fact, I've got two complete sets of these Nipex. I used to have one for at work and then one for home. Uh, these big ones don't see a lot of use, especially here. I don't, I don't use fasteners that large very often at all. This little guy, it's in value. I wish I could actually give up some of my bigger ones for this little one, just for my purposes, because this is a tool that I like to have all the time. I've even used these ones. I was changing out a radiator and I was able to, I needed to pinch off a little hose. So I actually put the hose in here, squished it down, put a heavy rubber band on here, and it actually allowed me to undo the connections. You know, so you could use that in a pinch. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> These are really great tools, guys. And for those of you who are asking, Nipex pliers, they are so rad. They're just the best, the, the best, the best, the best. Nipex K-N-I-P-E-X. Get yourself some of these. I guarantee you will not regret it. And if you have these, don't be surprised if you rarely use these ever again. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.